hello there and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be trying out max brand new mascara okay so this mascara is called max dark i'm sure that you've seen it by this point if you are on instagram or tiktok everyone's going wild for this mascara reviews are coming in everyone seems to love her on the max website she currently has five out of five stars and that's from a total of 545 reviews so the reason why i actually have this mascara is because i must have been on instagram at the right time because mac were offering to send out free trial sizes for anyone who wanted one so i don't know if they had like a limited number of them that they were giving out or they just had billions of them just to send out either way i think it's a really good promotional tool because like i think that it obviously gets you interested in the mascara if you were not already going to be interested and also if this turns out to be really really good then it's something that maybe i would consider buying however if i maybe didn't get to try it for myself i don't think i would be touching it with a barge pole because it costs 26 pounds 26 pounds my favorite mascara in the world is the lash princess by essence that mascara costs three pounds fifty and i have a rule that i don't spend over 10 pounds on a mascara because i just don't think you need to i've got a bunch of amazing mascaras that i that I use along with Lash Princess and they all cost under £10. So why the hell would I want to spend over £10 when I've got a whole gang of mascaras that are amazing and super, super like good value for money. But anyway, I mean, I love their little like, I don't want to say scam, it's not a scam, but I love their little like, ooh, let's do marketing technique. We'll send it out to anyone that wants it. They'll fall in love and then they're going to be addicted and they'll have to pay the £26 to buy the full size because I don't think I'm going to get more than maybe three uses with this tube. It's fucking tiny, which is fine. It's free. Who am I to complain about something that's free? Well, I will. I'll happily complain about something that's free. But yeah, she's very small. She's tiny. So I don't think you're going to get that many uses out of her. I do think it's really clever, like, you know, kind of advertising tool just to just send a load of sh free shit out. So from what I've kind of gathered online and I've not watched any kind of in-depth reviews or anything because I just didn't really want to be biased coming into this. I know a lot of people do tend to like it, but let's face it, on TikTok and Instagram, a lot of people tend to like everything. So I don't really trust a lot of things I see. And then you're probably watching this thinking, well, why the hell should we trust you? Yeah, that's a very good point, guys. I have to say, I'm very trustable. I have nothing to gain whatsoever by not giving you my honest opinion. So anyway, also, I do have a hair extensions in. I put them in in a rush. I did, I rushed. And I know it looks a bit shit, but do you know what? I'm going with it. Why not? Okay, so guys, the main kind of claim of this mascara that I have seen is that you can apply multiple layers you know like with other mascaras you are limited to how many times you can kind of layer it because a mascara tends to dry quite fast and once the mascara is dry it's not going to really help anyone just like to keep applying more and more of the formula on top and secondly uh, mascaras do tend to get very clumpy so obviously like the more you put on the clumpier your lashes are going to get however the mac stack mascara advises that you can just put infinite layers on like you can just keep layering up i could be layering up till the end of time well i could be if i didn't have the tiniest tube in history but anyway so it says infinite build volume and length mascara infinite infinite I'm, I'm sure that elon musk would probably be able to argue with you that this it's not going to be infinite it's not who wants infinite length i don't want infinite length i want length i want nice length oh do you know what this reminds me of just quickly and i know nobody cares but so i was taking the boys to school this morning and we got in the car and it's bin day so the bin truck is like backing up the street <gasps> and then i see 
the hottest bin man ever, ever, ever. Oh my gosh, and I wouldn't tell you this if he was just like an eight out of 10. He was an 11 out of 10. Ah, oh, he was gorgeous. He had tattoos all up his neck, which I love a baddie. And he was running and I just looked at him and he was like, he's, he was running in slow motion. He had his sexy high vis on, he had his, cargo pants on with loads of pockets full of all of his sexy shit oh he was so gorgeous he had a chiseled jawline he just had a face that looked like an angel that chiseled it and i just couldn't help but look and i was looking and i i didn't mean to say anything because the guys were in the back but i said oh, i said wow look at that specimen i obviously just sat there for a few minutes and watched him in my rear mirror i did i watched him i have never seen bins being emptied looking sexier it really perked up my morning i know some of you might be thinking i'm an idiot married girlfriend oh my gosh but do you know what i'm allowed to look at other people and enjoy a chiseled jaw if i want to come on now guys just because you're married doesn't mean you can't just look Okay, so I promise I am going to try this mascara in just a sec, but one final thing relating to the wand. It says, petal-shaped bristles, hugs and coat lashes from roots to tip. And I believe that the wand is actually kind of like a conic shape. If I can get a, like a close-up, like super magnified image of the wand showing off the petal-shaped bristles, I'll put that up here now because I do think it looks quite interesting and quite innovative so i really like that idea oh okay so this does look quite unique actually i mean let's face it we've all seen a multitude of mascara ones you know at this point but this one does look a little bit different it has bristles that start off long and as you approach the tip they get smaller in length and it does look like the wand has a bit of like a curve going on which yeah i can respect its hustle so this one isn't waterproof or anything um but it does claim to be super black if i ever find a mascara that does not claim to be super black i'll be surprised anyway right i'm going don't worry about the extensions okay so without further ado let's get to the application i'm gonna try not to talk too much because we're eight minutes in do i have the mascara on my lashes yet no and i know it annoys a lot of people when i just talk believe me i'm aware of it i can't help myself okay if you met me in person i would be quiet as a mouse i would not be talking i would be an awkward awkward person with nothing to say but put me in my makeup room on my throne and all of a sudden ah she just can't stop seriously anyway guys right, i'm gonna get a tutor my little beast just check out what's going on on my road maybe try and look out for that sexy ass bin man <gasps> yeah i am actually that's like you, you think i'm joking i'm not joking this uh wand actually does remind me quite a bit of essence lash princess's wand because it does have that conic shape where it it kind of gets smaller the closer it gets to the tip it's a very easy application do you know what guys should we see like how many layers we can actually get i mean it's going on beautifully the brush is you know that perfect kind of size and shape to allow for a very stress-free application so it's just very easy it's not you know, big feck off brush where you're just in danger of for your life because it's so big. Okay, so this is the first coat. And what I'm noticing is that we have really, really good separation of the lashes. We have quite a precise uniform look. I would say it's given me length, but I'm not really noticing much in the way of volume. And I've got a feeling that we're probably not going to get much volume with this mascara because of the fact that you can keep building it up. I think if they were really selling this as being like, you know, a super like volume giving mascara, I, I, don't know how they could get around the not getting clumpy thing because i don't know i think for a mascara to be super voluminous it needs to have a level of giving you some clumpiness anyway i don't really know what i'm saying but i hope that made sense oh no it says here our bigger brush for volume at first swipe i don't notice volume i notice length and separation but not volume anyway right so we're going to go in with coat number two. Oh, it would help if i actually had my mirror turned the right way wouldn't it it's going to be interesting to see if this formula ever does actually dry down 
Because you know my theory about the fact that maybe the reason why you can keep kind of building it up and keep like, you know, layering and layering and layering. My theory is that, because I've just realised I did not tell you my theory. So I, I'm going to, you know, bring you into the party of my theory. I feel like maybe it doesn't dry down that fast to allow you to keep being able to add more and more and more. But you know what that says to me? Like, that says to me, you're just going to end up going through the tube like super fast. Because how many layers do you actually get from an average size tube? Do you know what I mean? And, and also, Mac, my question, why do we need to keep layering? Like, why is that a selling point? Surely, like, the better kind of selling point would be one layer. Like, you only need to, like, do one layer and spend minimal time applying this to get the most bomb diggity down lashes. Well, like, what, what's that all about? Like, why should we keep needing to apply layer after layer after layer? Who's got time for that shit? After layer two, we definitely do have a little bit of volume going on. But, oh, God, for £26, guys, this is nothing spectacular. Like, this is nothing spectacular. You know what I'm really, really tempted to do? And I'm probably not going to do it now, but I'm going to do, like, a side-by-side, -side, like, this mascara versus the Lash Princess because I guarantee the Lash Princess will give me the same, or better, better, I'm going to say better. I'm going to have confidence in my bay. I think the Lash Princess will give you a much better look in faster time to allow you more time to go perving on hot, sexy bin men. And you know that claim that the Max Stack had about no clumping? I think not, because I can see clumping. I can see clumping. I can see it. I am not impressed. And also, I don't have all day to keep applying this. This is nothing special. Like, nothing special whatsoever. Like, literally, I bet Mac are going to end up regretting their advertising ploy to send this mascara out to everyone because it means that people like me who are not willing to spend a lot of money on a mascara and who are very aware that there are some outstandingly fantastic mascaras for under £10, they're going to regret letting me get this in my hands because actually I'm just, I'm shitting all over this. I don't think it's great. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. But I don't think she's great. Anyway, I think I've done three coats so far, so I'm going to do four. Why not? I'll probably use up this whole tube just on this one lash. Are you okay, Luna Bones? What's going on? Am I being too, too loud? It's my cat under the table, just in case you're wondering. What is it, girlfriend? Do I keep me in the bench? I'm sorry, girl. I didn't mean to. Okay, so this is... Girl, I'm trying to film a video, my lady. My lovely little... Girl, what's going... What is it? What's going on, my little love? Okay, so this is what the mascara looks like after four layers. I think it looks nice. I think we have volume, we have length, but I don't think it's great. Honestly, I would have the same level of volume and length from the Lash Princess for £3.50. So, guys, don't try to... Don't try to work when you've got cats around, okay? Especially sassy cats like Luna Boona. Okay, so I'm going to just do the lower lashes. Again, uh, because of the size of the wand this is like a super easy application oh i really love this on the lower lashes by the way i really do apologize for my cat i've got a feeling that the reason why you can keep applying layer after layer after, after layer is because the mascara maybe doesn't dry down fast so you know you've got that bigger window of opportunity to keep on applying but then the negative side of that would be that it's probably going to be more likely to smudge because of the fact it doesn't dry down fast. For me, the mascaras that I I really love for my lower lashes are the ones that dry down like super fast because there's like a very small window of opportunity for it to smudge. I mean, it, it does feel like it's dry. Let me just do a test, right? Okay, so we do have a little bit of um, transfer on my finger. So that says to me that my theory was correct that this mascara does not dry down 
fast and that's what allows you to be able to keep layering up but on the downside it's probably gonna smudge i really love the look of this mascara on my lower lashes i think it looks like really really good but i've got a feeling she's gonna smudge i will be wearing this mascara for the rest of the day so i will come back and let you know how i found it after it's been on my lashes for a while So I finished off the application, I went in with the finger technique and I cannot deny that I really think that the look of this mascara is fantastic. You know, I would be insane to say otherwise because it has given me so much length, it's given me so much volume actually, which, you know, at the beginning of the application I did not think it was going to, but I... I really actually do like the look. It's given me like a whole lot. And I do definitely feel like, you know, their whole claim of the being able to like keep on layering and like building up this mascara, like that definitely is correct. Like you can keep going in and building up the mascara, but I think that's down to the fact that it just doesn't dry down that fast, which is fine. But I also think that with every positive comes the negative and that negative is probably going to be that this is going to smudge which is a theory that I will test out and I will come back to you with an update after I've had the mascara on for a few hours do you know what I can't take my eyes off my lashes like I can't deny they look really good like if I go like this I feel like this is like the the best way to show off the length of the lashes if you just like look up like that but yeah I think it looks really good but at the same time like i'm not paying 26 pounds for this i'm just not and everyone's different if you're willing to spend 26 pounds on a mascara then that's wonderful like honestly i feel like if the lash princess was 26 pounds i definitely would have repurchased her a few times because I, I think she's a great mascara but i just i just feel like there's so many wonderful mascaras that are under 10 pounds like why do you need to spend 26 pounds but again everyone's different okay so i'm just gonna go about the rest of my day and then i'll come back in a few hours and i will let you know if this mascara has smudged clumped tried to take over my life i, I will let you know okay so i will see you on the other side Okay, so I've had the mascara on for a few hours at this point and although I thought it was going to smudge and I think it may have done just a little tiny bit, I am actually quite impressed that my theory was not correct and I'm a bit sad if I'm being honest because my ego is is hurt. I had a theory, I thought it was definitely going to be correct and it's not but I'm kind of glad it's not because I always want things to be good my other voice is saying <laughs> no you don't i i mean most of the time i do but i mean anyway i'm not getting into an argument with my inner voice now i'm just not i am actually quite impressed with this mascara like i like it i like the wand i like the application i like the look i like how it's worn i think it's a great mascara but what i don't like and i think you know what i'm gonna say i do not like the price i just think 26 pounds is just way too much especially when there's just as good mascaras if not better on the market for much less money and i would never tell anyone how to spend their money if you want to spend 26 pounds on a mascara then all the power to you but it's just for me i don't want to do that i'm really really pleased that i got to try this mascara like i'm so pleased and i've really enjoyed um testing it out but i'm definitely not going to be purchasing this because um yeah it's good but it's just nothing special enough that would make me want to spend 26 pounds on it although i love it i love it i do I um I would not recommend because I personally don't think any mascara is worth £26. Anyway guys, I hope that this has been somewhat helpful to you or useful if you were interested in this mascara. My cat has come back in and she's meowing again. She's meowing all day every day at the moment so that's great for me. It's great for me. But um, yeah, I hope um, this has been good for you as good for you as it's been for me anyway right so guys i am going to go now i'm going to give my cat the attention 
that she so desperately needs. I mean, guys, if, if you want an easy low maintenance cat, don't get a Sphinx cat. Just an FYI. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Are you okay, girl? What is it, sweet girl? I'm not, I just don't know what to suggest. Oh, she's fucking shit up now. She said, I'm going to fuck shit up now because uh, you're not giving me this attention that I need. Girl. boys that are six and eight and they are easier than my two sphinx cats combined honestly she's in my bag now she's in a bag she's gone in the bag